What you guys got another video here for you on how to enable the sandbox feature on Windows 10 and how to use it. So first off, you need to make sure that you've got virtualization uh, running. So just right click on the taskbar and go to task manager. Inside here, you should see virtualization is enabled. If you don't see that, then you'll need to go to your BIOS and enable virtualization from there. Another way you can test it is by going down to the search box, type in CMD and run this as administrator. This will open up the command prompt. And from here, you can now type in here, system info.exe and then press enter. And this will give you your system information and let you know whether the virtualization feature is enabled. As you can see, ours is enabled. So that means we can go ahead and enable the sandbox feature, which is a new feature for Windows 10 1903. So let's go ahead and get this enabled and installed. And then we can move on and I'll show you how to use it. It's pretty straightforward and easy to do. Go down to the search box here and type in here, turn Windows you can see features on or off, but as soon as you get to turn windows, you'll be able to see turn windows features on or off. Click on this one and this will open up the windows features. Go down to where it says sandbox, windows sandbox, put the tick in there. And all we need to do here is click OK and this will enable our windows sandbox. So we're going to do this. This will take a bit of time. It's going to search for the required files and start to install those files on our system. Now, once we get this done and up and running, we'll be able to run the Windows Sandbox feature on our Windows 10 system. It will be like Windows inside Windows, which is a great little feature for testing stuff, as you can see here. So we're just going to apply these changes. Now, you will need to reboot the system once this is finished installing. So just click on uh, Restart Now and restart the system. OK, if you don't do that, it's not going to work properly. So just go ahead and do that. So I've rebooted the system. I'm going to go down to the start button or the flag icon here and look for a new installed Windows Sandbox. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to right click on this and go more and then run as administrator. So just do that and this box will open up. It will take a bit of time to populate, so be patient. And once this opens up, you will see a version of Windows 10 here. So it's like a, a version of Windows 10 inside Windows 10. It does take a bit of time to open, so be patient. And once we got this done, there we go. We are now all open. And it's just loading up here. There we go. So you should now see. So as you can see, we've got the Windows Sandbox open and a Windows Sandbox is like a part virtual virtual machine it's like a virtual environment which is a secure environment for you to install applications now you can drag and drop files into here and test them and install them just to make sure they're working okay and they're not full of malware and stuff like that so this is a secure environment that is isolated from your main system to stop your main system becoming corrupted or infected and it's a great way to test stuff and uh Basically, once you close this off and open it up again, you will have a nice new clean state to work with. So we're just going to go ahead and install uh, CCleaner here just to show you how it works. So basically, you drop files in from your main system into the sandbox that you want to test and run just to make sure everything is running OK. And before you go ahead and install that onto your main system and possibly corrupt your main system or infect it, or stuff like that so it's a great way of testing programs and files and stuff like that in a secure isolated environment and as you can see it's installing just fine here there's nothing wrong with ccleaner i just wanted to show you basically how to uh, enable it set it up and get it working and use it uh, to uh, run files in a safe secure environment very easy to do and it's a great little feature i think that windows 10 has now for testing files so if you want to dabble and get your feet wet with Windows Sandbox, then that's basically how you can test your system to make sure that you've got virtualization enabled. If it's not shown up enabled, you will need to go into the BIOS and enable virtualization from in there. Most CPUs nowadays have uh, vir virtualization capabilities. And then we've also shown you how to install it. Um, and we've also shown you how to drag and drop files and install them into 
that Windows uh, sandbox. Now, if you're looking for this feature and don't see it inside your Windows operating system, it's probably because you're using an older version of Windows 10 and you need to make sure that you're using the very latest version of Windows 10 1903 and that is the version that this is uh, installed on okay so make sure you've got that installed and updated and you should be good to go now for all you people are wondering whether uh, Windows 10 1903 is safe to use I've been using it and it's pretty okay I've not had no problems um, basically I installed it because I had sound issues with the previous versions of Windows 10 and since I've updated all those issues have now been resolved and everything is running perfectly fine that's basically how you can close down the uh, Windows sandbox once you've finished there's no need to uninstall or remove the sandbox feature you can leave it on the system it's not going to harm the system in any way shape or form but it's entirely up to you whether you want to keep it on there or not uh, if you're going to be using it quite a bit then leave it on there if not you can remove it once you finish playing with it anyway I'm going to wrap this one up my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk that's basically how you can enable and use sandbox on the new version of Windows 10 1903. Have a great weekend guys and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now. Now if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.